Okay, so I have another clip here just to uh, give an, another example of space control. Um, so clearly I can see there's a uh, an enemy here, I believe it's a wraith. So this is what you need to um, kind of look for is where can this wraith go for cover, right? Uh, just be aware of that because look what you can see. So if I shot at the wraith right now, who knows she might keep climbing or she might drop down. But the main thing is, is that I am kind of in control of all these areas I can see and she looks at me and I back down. Uh, what can she control, right? Um, so right now, um, I haven't really locked down the wraith in space, right? Uh, but I do have a slight advantage, I guess, in my ability to to hide, right? So if she runs around this wall here, uh, I can't really lock her down in the space, right? Because this is a big area and also what's behind it. I, I don't really control the space that she's in. But if she was, let's say, um, let's say she was just behind this pole here, right? Uh, she wouldn't control much of my space, but I'd control a lot of hers. That's why they would feel pinned down and stuck. Um, so this, I won't be always playing the clips. I'm more interested in just explaining the idea and the concept. Okay, I didn't even know I got the knock there. Um, but that, the whole point is she was trying to go inside here and once she does, um, there's nothing I can do clearly, right? But if she comes out willy nilly, right? If she comes out and just starts walking around here, uh, that's, she gives up, um, she's coming, she's entering space that I control with my sight alone, which means I have the option to shoot, right? And um, she has no option than to just dance around the bullets or shoot back. This is kind of what I'm trying to point out here.